All right, now we're going to go in the opposite direction. We're going to do slope-intercept form into standard form. So just a reminder, slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. And standard form is ax plus by equals c. So we're going to go from slope-intercept form this time into standard form. All right, so we'll start right out with our examples. We have y equals... 4x plus 5. So all I'm going to do here is move the x-coordinate to the left. When we went from standard form to slope-intercept form, we moved the ax, the x-coordinate, to the right. So now we're going to move it to the left. So to do that, I'm going to add a negative 4x to both sides. Now I have negative 4x plus y equals 5. Standard form is done. Okay, so try that again. We're going to have y equals negative 6x minus 7. So again, I'm only going to move my x-coordinate to the left. I'm going to add 6x this time. I'm going to add 6x. So I will have 6x plus y equals negative 7. And you are done. Okay, so all we have to do is move that x-coordinate back, back and forth depending on which format we want. Now what happens though if we have a fraction? So if we have y equals 2 thirds x plus 4. Okay, so your step one is still going to be the same. Move the x coordinate to the left. And that's always by adding its opposite. I'm not going to really have to write that out, I hope, because you know how to solve an equation, so you know how to move a number from one side of the equal sign to the other. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take that and I'm going to move my 2 thirds x over. So I'm going to have negative 2 thirds x plus y is equal to 4. Now, we cannot use it. We cannot leave it like that. You cannot have a, a fraction or ratio as part of your ax plus by equals c. That has to always be a whole number. So this is going to require one final step, and that is to eliminate the denominator. Multiply. all terms by the denominator. And we did this when we were solving equations using fractions. We didn't want to use the fractions, so we multiplied each term by the denominator to eliminate that fraction. So I am going to multiply by 3 multiply by 3, multiply by 3. My 3's here are going to cancel each other out, and I'm going to have negative 2x plus 3y equals 12. And now I have standard form. We'll try another one of those just to, to refresh our memory on how to get rid of a denominator. Okay? So the next one, this is the fourth one, all right, we're going to take y equals 7 thirds x plus 4 thirds. So the first thing I'm going to do is move my 7 thirds x to the other side. So I'm going to have negative 7 thirds x plus y equals 4 
thirds. So right now it's in standard form, but you cannot have that denominator. So in order to eliminate it, we're going to multiply every term by the denominator of 3. These are going to cancel, and I'm going to have negative 7x plus 3y equals 4. All right, one more. y equals negative 4 over 9x plus 1 third. I'm going to add 4 ninths x to both sides. I have 4 ninths x plus y equals 1 third. Now if you dig down deep into your brains when we were doing fractions, you know you would have to go with the larger denominator in order to eliminate the 9. We want to eliminate the 9 and the 3, but we can't multiply everything by 3 because that's not large enough to eliminate the 9. So we have to multiply all terms by 9. Okay, so these are going to cancel. We're going to have 4x plus 9y equals. Now this becomes a 1, and 9 divided by 3 is 3. So your equation is 4x plus 9y equals 3.